Hi there, my name is Giselle and welcome to AKC's Home is Where the Dog Is. Our canine stars today are Stella, the Norwegian Buhan, and Archer, the Sky Terrier. We will see them a lot later enjoying themselves with all the fun stuff we have planned for them today. In this episode, we're going to learn about some fun activities you can enjoy with your dog. Doing activities with your dog not only helps keep them active, but it can also strengthen your bond. While most dog sports require a large space or backyard, there are many other activities you can do with your dog at home. For example, you can make your own artwork by paw print painting or making a paw print memory stone. You can even try your hand at some tricks that can be found on AKC's Trick Dog tutorials on YouTube. If you want to try out any of these activities, we've taken the guesswork out of them for you and broken them down into a few easy steps. Paw print painting is a fun DIY project for you and your dog. Although it's a little messy, the artwork is all worth it because the memory is yours to keep. Here's what you'll need. Non-toxic watercolor paints, a disposable bowl, newspaper or paper to cover and avoid staining your floors, a blank canvas, a plastic sheet, a tub and dog shampoo to rinse off your dog's paws, a towel to dry your dog off, and some delicious treats for your dog. Now that you have all your supplies, you can create your own paw print painting at home. Here's what to do. First, lay the plastic sheet on the ground to protect it from paint. Two, fill the tub up with water to be ready to rinse your dog's paws. Three, lay the blank canvas on top of the drop sheet. Four, dip your dog's paws in water before having them press it down on the paint. Five, use some treats to help maneuver your dog over the canvas in the direction that you want. Six, give them the treats for being a good dog. Seven, once finished, wash your dog's paws in a tub with clean water and shampoo to quickly rinse them out. Eight, if your dog has any paint remaining, make sure to give them a warm bath to get the rest of it off. Another fun activity to create with your dog is a paw print memory stone. It is a great way to personalize your garden, give as a gift, and preserve as a memorial. If you have a kit, follow the instructions on the box to create your own memory stone. We are going to use this dog safe paw print kit for this demonstration. Step one, get the clay out of the bag and use just enough to shape the clay into a ball. Step two, Flatten the ball of clay into circles. Step 3. Coat your dog's paws with petroleum jelly to avoid getting any clay stuck in between their paws. Step 4. Press your dog's paw down onto the clay. To get a fully detailed print, it's best to have your dog press down their paw while they're standing. Depending on your dog's weight, you may need to use more pressure to get a better paw print. Dry for a minimum of 24 hours before using your paw print memory stone. Once you're done making the paw print, wash off your dog's paws with warm water and dog-friendly shampoo to get rid of any remaining residue. And now you have your dog's paw printed on a memory stone. You could later decorate your memory stone however you like. Welcome to the show, Sarah. So can you show us a basic trick we can teach our dogs, such as shaking hands? Sure. When shaking hands, your polite dog raises his paw to chest height, allowing guests to shake his paw. First, hide a treat in your right hand low to the ground. Encourage your dog to paw at it by saying, get it, and shake. Reward your dog with the treat the moment his left paw comes off the ground. Gradually, raise the height of your hand, upping the ante, until he is lifting his paw to chest height. Transition to using the hand signal. Stand up and hold the treat in your left hand behind your back and extend your right hand while cueing, shake. When your dog paws your extended hand, support his paw in the air while you reward him with a treat from behind your back. Repeat these steps on the other side to teach paw. Any dog can learn this trick. Practice a couple of times a day and always be positive. 
If you'd like to try your hand at trying out tricks with your dog, you may want to consider the AKC Trick Dog Program. The program includes four levels and allows dogs of any amount of experience to participate. So let's summarize what we learned today. Paw print painting and paw print memory stones can be a great way to get creative with your dog. Trick dog training can benefit your dog's physical and mental health. As always, be patient and never use force when training your dog or learning a new activity. We hope you learn how to do some fun activities with your dog at home today. And a big thank you to our canine star, Stella and Archer for joining us. For more dog trick tutorials, please subscribe to AKC's YouTube channel and visit us at akc.org for more fun activities you can do with your dog. Thanks for watching! Thank <laughs> you.